Hello and welcome everybody to Word of Mouth Food Reviews. This is the Woodmaster here. And we have a local treat for you. Again, I told you this this was gonna be the year I was gonna try to spend a little more uh, a little more time with local joints and less time with fast food joints. Uh, it's not in response to anything uh, like Dame Drops. Uh, it is a little bit of a health thing too. Um, because of course most of the fast food restaurants are greasy and, and awful. Um, like I'm sure a lot of you with the whole KFC hot chicken, Nashville hot chicken. Um, the only thing I've tried closely resembling that was from O'Charlie's. And O'Charlie's is actually based in Nashville. So um, their, their chicken sandwich was right hit out of the park. Um, but I know with KFC's it's like they do something to the oil um, and season the oil after it comes out of the fryer or something. I don't know what the deal is. But that's the chicken's like super greasy and super disgusting. But what's not hopefully not super greasy or super disgusting, uh, we just went to Old Hickory Pit, and uh, as you can see there the total spent was fifteen eighty five. Now this is a sampler platter. I uh, will alert you. Here's their takeout menu. If you want to take a little slow peek at that, um, I'm gonna pause the video to take a little look at that and browse and carouse over what you might want out of it. But I got the sampler plate, $14.95, it includes three meats, two homemade sides, and uh, Texas toast. So put that back here. Now, this is, again, this is everything, all in two bags, well, a bag and a box. So we're going to open the bag first, to kind of give you a little idea. The, the portion's huge, very huge. There's your Texas toast, kind of small, but again, you've got a lot of size. Potato salad. Yeah. Unwrap that for a second. Looks like they got the homemade red potatoes, or the, the red potatoes they're using that. And then the beans. Again, uh, the barbecue beans. Uh, I know some barbecue restaurants will use portions of pork and stuff like that. Got a really good smell. And then here's the main event. Now I noticed, strangely enough, there was not a fork inside of there, so hopefully there's one inside of here. Oh, we're going to have some problems. Alright, okay, so here we go. This is kind of strange. Okay, so they. Inside, here's, here's what we got. Again, this is opening it sight unseen. So we got, I guess they put the beef and the pork in separate little mini containers. Um, they also have um, hot and uh, hot and mild barbecue sauce for the items. So again, one for each one of the sauces. Um, the pickles look like they're homemade. Take a little. Yeah, they don't, they could be, but I'm presuming they are homemade because everything there is homemade. Mmm. Got a nice bite. Yeah. You can tell it's homemade because it's not as salty tasting. A lot of the not homemade ones, you can just tell they're just the generic ones that were frying. Wet naps. There's a, a spoon, a knife, and a fork. Alright. So after we gotten that out of the way. Okay, so with a whole piece of chicken. Here's the piece of chicken. I thought they said it was boneless, but anyways, we'll we'll go on about that. So everything's smoked, no additives, no preservatives, no Salts, no nothing. Very strong, strong wood taste or wood smell. Anyways, like that. And this is again natural. There's no sauces on it. Um, this natural uh, hickory smoke. Check it out. Hmm. Oh, that's excellent. It's tender. It's, it just comes right off. Um, 
got a little bit of chew to it with the skin. Um, but I mean, even the meat just peels right off the skin. You may not even need any of your sauces. I'm just going to warn you that right now. But definitely the eat a little pickle with that chicken. Mm. So. That chicken's perfection. That part's definitely a five. Let's take a look at the pork. There's your pork. I presume there may be a little bit of sauce or something in with it, but let's check it out. Well seasoned, nice flavor, with a bark on it. Hmm. Hmm. It's very juicy. It's delicious. That's definitely a five. Well, yeah, five. And then onto the third of the, th of the three. There's the beef. Take a little. Again, this is all hickory smoked. No added. Uh, as far as I know, with the chicken, there's no additive preservatives to it. Everything else. Um, it might add a little bit of sauce to it, not 100% sure. Mm. Yeah. All the meats are delicious. Right now, I can guarantee there's probably going to be two meals out of this. Um, Let's try these beans. These are homemade beans. Hello. There we are. Take a look at those. I know some of them use uh, like pork and stuff like that for the flavor, so I'm going to check these out and see what they taste like. Hmm. Okay. Those are sweet, but they don't taste like store-bought candy sweet. The beans are nice and smooth. They're not undercooked, they're just nice and soft. The sauce has a little bit of a cross between tomato, um, like a ketchup and a barbecue sauce kind of cross. But that's really good. Really good. And one last thing we're going to try, well, almost one last thing. Here's the red, the salad, potato salad using the red potatoes. I don't know what all's in this, but just kind of figure this, the usual stuff that most people put in their potato salad. Mmm. Oh yeah, okay. Now onto the sauces. I'm gonna take a little taste of the, this is just the regular barbecue sauce. Little, it's got a strange sting to it. Not spicy, but as soon as you put it on your tongue, there's something there, but you know it's not a, a regular barbecue sauce, because it's not as thick, but for something like this, you want the meat to show through it. You don't want a thick sauce. That's got great flavor to it, though. And then let's check out the hot barbecue sauce to close everything out. See what differentiates this a little bit. Okay, whoa, hello. All right. Yeah, that's a nice, it's got a nice tingle to it, but it's not a burn. It's just like a little something to let you know it's there, but you'll still be able to enjoy your meats and all that stuff. So overall, anything you get from Old Hickory Pit, you can't go wrong with. This sampler platter was like 15, 80 something. If you want another or exact price go to the front of the video for the price um, great amount of sides this is definitely going to be at least two meals um, sauce plenty of sauce on the side you may not really need it beans and potato salad are there definitely great uh, great side you can tell they're homemade the chicken again no seasonings no nothing just the natural hickory flavor 
this whole meal was the hit out of the ballpark. And if you're looking for some good barbecue, whether it's takeout or eat in, uh, I've heard that the sandwiches are one third of a pound plus your two sides. And I know a lot of if with a lot of the meals, if you get them to dine in at the old Hickory Pit, you get the unlimited Texas toast. So that might be an incentive for you to dine in there as opposed to taking it out. Um, if you need some great barbecue this weekend, check out the old Hickory Pit. I'll have the address at the end for you. This whole thing gets a five out of five, five all day. Eat it once, you'll want to come back and eat it some more. Great staff, friendly staff. They and it is a legit hickory pit. Uh, there were, they actually have like a little bulldozer, and there's like tons of hickory in the back, and you can see where it's all stacked up. And uh, there are employees out there, you know, hacking at the wood, and I mean, it's this flavor that cannot be matched. Uh, with gas grills or any of the other different mechanisms. Just old school hickory barbecue. Thumbs up. Check it out. Address at the end. Webmaster. Word of mouth food reviews. Peace.